Hello friends and welcome to Woofboxing, the channel all about the Woofbox. Today we're going to go over the very powerful and fun live mode on the Woofbox. So what is live mode and what is it for? Well, it is a mode that turns your Woofbox into a performance instrument. It allows you to build a song dynamically as part of a live performance. So how do you get to it? Well, you'll see on key 15 it says live right here. So you hold the encoder and press the key and you're now in live mode. Live mode actually has two sections. The live section, as you can see here, it says live. And if you select live mode again by holding the encoder and pressing live mode, you're now in the scene section. And you'll see it says scene one right now. And you can toggle between the two by holding the encoder and pressing key 15. Let's start with the live section. Every key that is lit is a track that is not muted. So if I hit play, all of these tracks will play. If you want to change one of these tracks to be muted, you hold right and you just press it. So let's, uh, let's, let's just go with these. And this also works while it's playing. So you can just play and then I'm gonna unmute the kick, the snare, Very fun. So even that's enough to go out and have fun. Quick tip here, you can go back to edit mode with the current track selection by holding the encoder and holding a track. So for example, let's say I'm working on the drums and I want to go add some hi-hats or something. You can just hold down the encoder and hold down the track. And now I am in the snare track and none of the other tracks are playing so I can There you go. And if you switch tracks again, then it will unmute all the tracks. Another thing you can do in this live section is to play with the keyboard. So to pick which track you'll play, you hold down the play button until it says select track. And then you can select the track. See, it says ARP. So now you can unmute stuff. and play at the same time. If I want to change the track, I just hold down the play button until it says select track again, pick the bass track, and there you go. So what if you wanted to quickly load a collection of tracks on the fly? Well, that's what scenes are for. So let's go to the scenes by holding the encoder and pressing live mode again, and we are now in scenes. More specifically, scene one. Scenes work very similarly to fragments in song mode. So you select the scene by holding play and clicking a track button. So this would be scene six, scene seven, scene one. And you can edit the scene length by holding right and turning the encoder. Let's make this one four bars. And similarly to the live section, you hold right and click tracks to unmute them. So. This is now scene one. I can switch to scene two, and let's say we'll unmute the drums and mute the melodics. There you go. If you switch scenes while the woof box is playing, it will quantize your switching, which is very cool. So for example, let's go to scene one, and this is a four bar scene. So I'm gonna hit play, and then I'm gonna switch to scene two. And you're going to see that there's going to be a reverse countdown on the keyboard that tells you when it's going to switch. So here we go. See, now it's moving forward. I'm gonna hit two, boom. See, it's moving backwards. Switch. Now this is only one bar, so it's gonna switch a lot quicker if I switch back to scene one. There you go. So let's build a quick track progression so I can show you a couple of other things. So for scene one, we'll say we want yeah, we want this, or... Yeah, for scene one, we'll say this. And for scene two, we're gonna do something a little fancy. We're gonna do the same stuff. We're gonna introduce the ARP track, except we're gonna fade it in. So just like in the song Fragments, you can hold a track, and then you have some options. You navigate the options by clicking the encoder, and you select the option by turning the encoder. So for this track, we're gonna say fade 
in. Actually, you know what? Let me just go through what these are. So the first one is just play. It will play regularly. This one is fade in. So it will fade in the track over the course of the scene length. This is fade out. Whoops. This is fade out. Same as before, but to fade out the volume. This is open the filter. This is close the filter. And this is pitch the track up one octave during the scene length. And this is pitch the track down one octave during the scene length. So let's go with fade in. So I'm gonna make this two bars, which means that now when I switch to this scene, it's going to fade in the volume over a two bar period. So let's go to scene one. And let's go to scene two. It's going backwards. Four, three, two, one. And you see? So it faded in this ARP track very nicely. Okay, moving on, let's go to scene three. So now I'd like to show how to switch patterns. So if we go to the lead track, you can see on the pattern one of the lead track, I don't have anything. But on pattern two, I have this. Okay, so going back to live mode, going back to scene mode, on scene three, I am going to turn on track three, but by default, this is gonna be pattern one. So if I play, you're not gonna hear it. We're gonna hold it down, click the encoder until it says pattern, and then we're gonna navigate to pattern two. Et voila, now. All right, this is a super obnoxious pattern. So now that I have this set up, let's demo a couple things. The first thing is chord lock. You will be able to see right here that this track is following the chords. I can turn that off by clicking until I say chord lock and setting it to lock. So now if I play, it is not being transposed by the chords track. Let's turn that off. And the next one is retriggering mode. These are super fun. So you can use these for fills or for pattern variations, but for example, if it's set to off, then nothing's gonna happen. The first one is repeat one through four, and this is just gonna keep repeating step one through four. Cool. The next one will repeat the first step in the last four steps of the pattern. Very cool. The next one will double even steps. For every odd steps, it's gonna repeat the preceding even step instead. The next one will play only the even steps, and for odd steps, it will just repeat the previous even step. Cool. The next one will just repeat step one over and over. Cool. The next one will repeat step one and two over and over. And the last one will reverse the pattern. So these are super fun to, you know, create B sections, uh, fills or anything. You can use them on drums. Uh, it's very, very cool feature. Another thing you may have noticed is if you're using automation, like we are here, fade in one, it's going to add a parameter in the menu. So I click it and now it says parameter. This is new. So right now it's set to full and that means that the automation will apply the full automation to the parameter we wanted, which was the fade in volume. So for example, I can have it end at, uh, let's say 49% volume, or I can have it start at 33% volume. So for us, we'll just leave it at full. But if you want to get very specific, you can. Let's do something fun with that pitch up automation. So I'm using the same scene as scene two and scene three, except we're gonna pitch it up. So let's go to behavior and we'll do pitch up. And I'm gonna make this, uh, yeah, I'm gonna make this four bars. And the next one in scene four, we'll do the same exact thing, except that we'll just have this play instead. And then for scene five, we're gonna do the same exact thing again, except now we're gonna pitch it back down. There you go. And let's make that two bars. 
And then for scene six, we'll just have the regular one. So let's try that. Let's see how that sounds. So it's fading in our track. Switch to three. It's starting to pitch it up over a four bar period. Oh, I didn't switch it. <laughs> Let's go to scene five. Here we go. Now it's coming back down. And scene six. Okay, so my timing wasn't perfect, but you know, hopefully you see how cool this could be. Moving back to live mode. So how do you use the scenes here? You can load any scene in live mode by holding play and pressing the scene button. So you can see right now, I just loaded scene one. And right now, I just loaded scene three. This also works while it's playing. So right now I'm on scene one. Here, let's load scene one. And I'm going to switch to scene three while it's playing. There you go. Now, when you do it this way, it switches instantly, but you can schedule them by doing the same combination, but just holding down the track. So for example, I'm in scene one, let's say I want to load scene four, but I want to schedule it. So I'm gonna hold down play and hold track four. See, it said scene scheduled. So that's how you do that. Let's schedule seven. There's nothing on seven, let's schedule two. Boom. And you can see it gives you a reverse countdown so you know exactly when it's gonna switch. There you go. And that is the end of this video. As always, thank you so much for being here and ciao, ciao.